Hello friends. Today I want to discuss with you about the pressure head which is required and uh, for a pump to suck why it is impossible for a pump to suck water below 10 meter depth. And this is a very useful con uh, concept if you know it it will be really helpful for you. First of all look at some basic things like 1 bar equals 0.1 megapascals that finally equals 1 kg per centimeter square that means that a load of 1 kg over a uh, surface area uh, area of 1 centimeter square e equals the atmospheric pressure that is equal to 1 bar and which is also equal to a head of 10 meter water now atmospheric pressure is equal to 1 bar how was how had this happened how was this calculated if you remember we there was one experiment done in which the mercury was filled in a vessel as you see in the figure and the test tube filled with mercury was very properly closed on top and dipped in the vessel now as you see in the second diagram uh, now one thing to note here is that it the whole uh, vessel is open to atmosphere you can see the atmospheric pressure complete vacuum you can see here what all I have measured like uh, when this test tube was dipped then there was a head formed and uh, the upper part of the test tube was complete vacuum now this what what we conclude from this is like even if you make complete vacuum for suction you cannot suck mercury above 76 centimeter also considering that outside is atmospheric pressure like uh, for a tank uh, how how the outside part will be atmospheric pressure like the for the tank the vent will be open now this conclusion i repeat it once so that you go through it uh, write it, uh, note it down even if you make complete vacuum for suction like in this case here we very gently put the test tube inside the bucket now the upper part there is one column of mercury which is raised due to this atmospheric pressure you can see the small column is raised in the test tube and upper part is complete vacuum so what this says that even if there is complete vacuum somehow there is a tank with vent open and there is complete vacuum then also with such a pump which creates 100% vacuum then also you can raise a liquid to like mercury can only raise to 76 centimeter that is also equal to the atmospheric pressure outside now similarly if you try sucking water making complete vacuum like here it was mercury now if you change this mercury with water and uh, why why did not take water because uh, the head was really really high like 10 uh, meter so we cannot draw like that uh, you can draw actually but we cannot do that experiment this experiment was done on a highly dense dense high density liquid like mercury its density is near about 13 to 14 something like that so in case of water this this head gets raised to 10 meter for complete vacuum question now there are there are a lot of concerned people are a lot of myths floating like uh, if there is a, you cannot suck because uh, as the pressure low pressure is created that that becomes a reason for the water getting evaporated <laughs> that low pressure boiling point goes around this is all a nonsense do not go through that similarly for water sucking water making complete vacuum you can only suck a maximum of 10 meter for that that too in case of complete vacuum now here as the case was of complete vacuum now any pump any any and every pump like uh, piston pump centrifugal pump centrifugal pump uh, never makes complete vacuum it like consider it like it it at on a best case makes 98 95 percent vacuum 
so that is the reason that you cannot suck water not only below 10 uh, uh, if the depth is 10 meter you cannot even uh, suck it out even if it is uh, 6 meter or 7 meters for a centrifugal pump so now the uh, important conclusion is no pump no pump like this this place this place is uh, like uh, you put here a pump uh, turn this change this with a pump now what's up uh, here uh, it was complete vacuum no pump can make this complete vacuum so no pump can suck this to the atmospheric pressure height that is uh, 76 centimeter for mercury and 10 meter for water so even if pump makes complete vacuum like in this case it can only suck 76 centimeter and for the case of water uh, 10 meter the important conclusion comes from here no pump can suck can suck or can make complete uh, can make complete vacuum and thus no pump can make a complete vacuum like uh, centrifugal pump even makes lesser vacuum compared to other uh, piston or piston pump or gear pumps so whatever be the vacuum they made and their eff how much efficient they are in making vacuum no pump can make complete vacuum that is one case and thus cannot suck a suction lift below 10 meter okay so if if you consider all the losses then this 10 meter comes down to 7 meter or 6 meter even so this place this place you can uh, change it with a pump and you get the same result next video i will uh, explain you uh, for the cases different cases with different tanks from the same pump or different pumps Thank you for this. You can check the slide once again. Thank you.